Hi guys, in today's video I'm just updating you before surgery uh, and after chemo as to what's going on with me. So, here we go. Hey guys, so this is my latest update. Um, welcome to my channel, I'm Marina Blackford. Um, so where am I at now? My last chemo was supposed to be April 23rd. Um, and if you watched my um, update video, um, we actually stopped chemo that day. We did not do it. We did a blood transfusion instead because my hemoglobin was so low. So my last chemo was technically April 16th. So I had to look at my calendar, but it's been one, two, three. It's been three weeks since my last chemo. I'm feeling uh, much better every day. I think the turn came for me um, about like two weeks after chemo. Sorry. Doggy. <laughs> so anyways, about two weeks after that last chemo is when I feel like my energy started coming back more. And now that I'm three weeks out, I'm feeling really good. Um, so where am I at now? Today, I had a radioactive seed placed, radioactive seed localization for breast surgery. Okay. So I've never had this done before, not that I remember. So I've had the double mastectomy. Tomorrow they're doing a lumpectomy. Um, so tomorrow is surgery day. Um, and they're just gonna remove the tissue that the tumor was in. I say was, cause they've done an ultrasound twice now where they've searched for the tumor and there's no sign of it except for the clip that they placed during the biopsy. So today what they did is next to that clip, they place this radioactive seed that is the guide for my surgery that's happening tomorrow. So tomorrow my surgeon's gonna go in and um, just remove a little bit of tissue or we're just gonna pray everything goes great and I will give you an update tomorrow. Um, thank you all for people that have messaged me and have sent prayers and thoughts and well wishes. Um, it means a lot even if you know this platform seems impersonal i think it's very personal and um i just really appreciate it so you guys can always follow me on real time on instagram at marina blackford and um, i'll update you in this next part of the video good morning it's mama's surgery day she's gonna be all done soon yeah yeah Good morning. Today is Tuesday. It is surgery day. It's 6 a.m. Our dogs are eating their food. The baby is awake right here. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna take a shower. I can't do any deodorant, lotions, um, makeup, I think. But I did do my nails. Cute! And so this is where I'm at also to document a little bit of maybe hair growth or just a lot of the weird white hairs you get with chemo and my eyebrows about three weeks after my last chemo. So um, yeah, I'm gonna shower and get on a surgery friendly outfit, AKA leggings and a sweatshirt. Look at you with your new walker. Come to mama. Push, push, step, step. Come on. Come on, come to me. Oh, daddy. She put daddy's right here. guys my surgery attire I'm going with just some lounge shorts because it's gonna be 93 today something not too tight that's easy to pull up whenever you're having breast surgery sometimes your arms are very sore so really tight leggings are not ideal um, this is what it looks like from yesterday the seed placement this is just marker from where they marked and um, really really small try and focus here the camera Anyways, um, I think it's more bruised from just uh, the little shots of lidocaine and right in the middle there I think is where they went in and placed the seed. So it's a really, really tiny. It's 
just a little sore, not, not bad. I'm going with my go-to sweatshirt of the season. Thank you, American Eagle, because it's just so loose. It's my favorite color, and I just like that it's just so comfortable. So you've probably seen this in a couple of my photos or posts, but here we go. Um, no lotion makeup. I put on a little bit of chapstick, um, a couple eye drops just to wake up, and that's it. Also, I just took out my um, earrings and I am gonna take my Apple Watch off. So you want no valuables with you. ID, card, insurance card, the sheet that says I have a radioactive seed in me. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna grab, um, don't laugh, a fanny pack. And I officially look like a tourist. See you later, honey. Good luck. Hey guys, it is um, about four o'clock on Tuesday, um, same day, surgery day, <laughs> surgery day. Um, everything went great. My parents are here today. My dad dropped me off. Um, Curtis picked me up because he had the day off. And so Curtis talked on the phone to my doctor and they said everything went great. Um, you know, they really couldn't find the tumor. I mean, there, there wasn't really any cancer left. So I guess they just removed the tumor, the tissue that the tumor was sitting in, along with the biopsy clip. A clip is what they'll leave to mark where they do a biopsy if they do one on you. And then the radioactive seed was placed yesterday to mark next to the uh, clip. Um, the seed, I guess, also helps them with maybe finding the lymph nodes. I don't know, today they did the nuclear med. Um, person comes in and they inject um, they did four little injections around um, my nipple on the left breast. I had a, I had a nipple sparing double mastectomy and I only have it on the left side because the right side was removed after a lumpectomy and staph infection in 2018. Go figure. <laughs> so they injected the nuclear med. It's blue in color. So I literally peed bright blue, which was very funny when I got home and it's still kind of blue now. Let me see if you can see a little blue. There is some of the blue that you can see in the skin there. Um, that helps them find lymph nodes. And then with finding lymph nodes, if there was any what they call sentinel nodes, she was gonna just take them and then dissect them and make sure there was no cancer in them. And they said everything went great because there's no cancer in them and there's been none on any ultrasounds. So if she goes digging around for more lymph nodes, there's a big risk of having uh, lymphedema, which is inflammation of your lymph nodes. And once lymphedema sets in, that's permanent. So these are all things that my surgeon considered, even consulted her surgery team at the cancer center on. They made the best choice. They did the best thing they could today and they're all very happy with the outcome. So I'm happy with the outcome and that's not the meds talking. <laughs> um, I feel a little sore, not terrible, just a little sore. I really, really slept. I think cause the anesthesia just made me really tired. Since I've been home, I had lunch immediately. We just picked a soup and sandwich at a local a spot and drank some water. And I've literally been sleeping since then. So probably noon to four. My son has been with my husband. They went on a little adventure. They went to Bass Pro Shop and had some fun. And my parents have been here helping with the baby. So I'm gonna get up and get out there and say hi to everybody. Um, I post a weekly video here and I just appreciate y'all looking. I hope you have a great day. Go Spider-Man, go. What are you? A bear. A bear.
A bear. A bear. Easton went to Bass Pro and he got this new little oh camping set. I'll come see. There's baby sister.